Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. This is my karate chopping robot. I don't know what... Hi. Welcome back to Revenge of the Q and or A. I got a new uh, monitor. So it's it's like two inches bigger. And I guess that makes all the difference, ladies. Because, because the camera is what I'm talking about. The camera is a little bit higher. And I guess it's like angled down more. I don't... I don't... Look, all I'm saying is, if I was a 17-year-old girl with a tank top and a push-up bra, this would have a million views. Ooh, Jesse, touchy subject. Uh, any, anyway, what? Got my, like, hey, I'm a pirate. Hey, don't, I don't, what is happening with this thing? The thing used to be about questions and answers, and now it's this. Hey, I'm a pirate. Look up me nose. I'm a mess. In case you can't tell, I'm sick. I'm on cold medicine right now, which is why this exists the way it does. <laughs> which is this, this whole thing. That explains it. Oh, damn it, brain. We're going to get a lot of comments for this one. By the way, if you have comments, be sure to send them to my Twitter, at Total Biscuit. I'll be sure to read them. Anyway, what actually has happened this week? Uh, besides being sick, I've been doing a lot of prep work for a very secret Husky StarCraft project. I can't tell you what it is. Uh, you'll find out in four weeks, five weeks, something like that. It's really cool. I'm so proud to be a part of it. And it's one of the best things I've ever done. And you guys will love it. There's no, look, you'll love it. And um, I don't, it's, it's been a blast, but it's been a lot of work and meetings and things. And so it's kind of thrown my schedule off, which is bad for videos. And I know I promised a lot of things and there's a lot of things I want to do still, but I just, there's only so many hours in a day. It's killing me. It's killing me. Um, what else? Oh, oh, speaking of so many hours in a day, tomorrow we are going to take some of those hours to start filming Dead Space 3. So for those of you who are like, Jesse, where's Dead Space 3 with Dodger? You promised like 15,000 weeks ago. Well, I like how the camera, you couldn't see my sh fist shake with rage. That was your rage. It was like, Jesse, I'm so mad at you. Um... Yeah, no, that is happening tomorrow. So we're going to film a bunch of that, and hopefully all next week you'll get some Dead Space 3, which I guess means tomorrow I probably should finish up some Bioshock. That'd be great. So look for that as well. And um, what else? Oh, I got a, I got a list here. Hold on. List, what is going on this week? I don't know, Jesse. Maybe you should have memorized this before you did your stupid thing. Oh, I totally forgot. I didn't mention this before, and I probably should have. I just got done doing an episode of Tabletop two weeks ago, one week ago. I don't know when weeks ago. It was in the past. But uh, that was wonderful. I got to meet Will Wheaton and m do a very funny game with uh, Nika Harper. So if you like Riot and attractive women, that's the episode for you. And uh, it's wonderful. I had a great time. And that will be out in August, September, in the future. And so you'll see past me playing in the future with past other people. It's it's basically Back to the Future 4 is what it is. And I play Doc Brown. Marty! We've... That's my crazy hair. Marty! We've got to... Did Doc, did Doc Brown's hair jiggle like that? You know what? Screw it. I just... Let's just get to the questions, okay? You know, enough of all that. Let's get down to the hat. Question the first. This comes from GXTMX, or Gimsdumsk. <laughs> Isn't that a Superman villain, Mr. Gimsdumsk? Uh, I want to get into Civilization games. What game would you recommend I start with? Ooh, that's a, that's a hard one. It's either going to be four or five. I wouldn't bother with all the previous ones. Those are unnecessary. Don't go back. Um, I would say... If you want the full, complete, like, best experience, Civilization 4. Civilization 4, if you get all the expansions, had a lot going for it. The mods are the best. Uh, you can get, like, the Fall from Heaven 2 mod, which is, makes it makes it all fantasy, which makes it even better. It, it's really, really cool. Uh, or you could go with Simpler, so you can learn how to play, and that would be Civ 5. Civ 5 took out a lot of stuff to make it sort of simpler and more, I guess, easy to use, more intuitive. Um... Uh, it's it's your choice, but either of those is fine. If you want, like, I mean, honestly, they're both kind of cheap on the cheaper end now. So I guess whatever floats your boat. I mean, Civ Five clearly looks better uh, than Civ Four, but if you want the tactical stuff that includes 
Lots of things that Civ 5 is missing. Civ 4 is the way to go. However, Civ 5 just had a new expansion that added a bunch of stuff that was in Civ 4. So, I don't know. I guess that's coming out. They didn't have it. It's coming out in like a month or two. Well, whatever. The idea is that eventually they'll both be pretty much similar. So, whatever floats your boat, really. Since the story is something you create, uh, there is no, like, timeline that you need to worry about when playing the games. It's the history of the Earth. So, you play as it. You make world wonders. It, it's, it's great. It's a wonderful game. If you're a big history nerd like myself, you'll be like, I know that location or that guy, and you'll, be, you'll have a great time. It's a wonderful game. Get it if you like strategy. If you don't like strategy or wasting hours... It's not the game for you. You will be either bored or be like, what happened to my day? And then hate me. Question the second comes from Monster Tess. Jesse, my friends think I'm crazy for loving Brienne so much. Am I crazy? Uh, first off, no. They're crazy. And, I mean, isn't she the most amazing and cutest character in Game of Thrones? Yes, fact. And sexiest. Gi a giant, sexy beast of a woman. And uh, also, I secretly ship Brienne and Jamie. Fact. That is the best shipping you can do in Game of Thrones. I feel like if anyone deserves happiness at the end of the series, it is Brienne and Jamie together living on a farm where they just beat people up and then they get their own sitcom called Brie J. I'm, st I'm sticking with that. And finally... Question the third. This is from Curtis Jones. Hey, Jesse, sorry to bother you, but I was just wondering, how do I send questions to you so that they might end up in the hat? Oh, irony. There is some stuff I'd really love to get your opinion on, but I have no idea how. Thanks for the great videos and the tons of laughs you have given me. Keep up the great work. Well, Curtis, um, I feel like, one, I stole the one question you'd get. But I did it for a reason. You're going to help people here right now. Um, literally every single thing that's sent to me in question form goes in the hat. Everything I get. And sometimes you get duplicates. And so, like, the old ones I'll remove and keep the, the new one in. And then I just randomly draw them. And then we go back through them and determine what's been asked and what hasn't. And so, anything you ask me on Tumblr, on Twitter. By the way, follow my Twitter. At uh, Jesse Cox. You should do that. Bing. And uh, the Facebook, facebook.com slash the Jesse Cox. It's at the end of this. Why am I even saying this? But you know what I'm saying. Like, everything that I have, if you ask me a question, you can PM it to me, whatever. It all goes in the hat. So if I don't respond to you, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I'm like, it's in the hat. You get the same chance as everyone else. And so, unfortunately, Mr. Jones, uh, you, you uh, got your question in the hat. Except it wasn't the question you wanted, I'm sure. But as a substitute, I'll sing you a song. Mr. Jones and me put his question in the hat. We're gonna check out girls. I don't remember that. I don't remember that song. I know they were checking out girls and hats in it. Mr. Jones and me. Right? No? <laughs> That's it. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching. And as always, to be continued. Advertise like shameless whores. <laughs>